All right, I'm in the position right now. I'm returning your serve. Here comes the serve. Tell me if you like this or not. How about this? You notice that? How big was that backswing? Huge. Now, when you make contact with the ball, the most important thing is trying to make contact in front of you. Here's where most players get in trouble. I do not tell players to take the racket back. So if you were the coach and you told me to take the racket back, I took the racket back. It doesn't look like a very good forehand, does it? What I will tell players a lot is to turn. So the ball comes and I turn. If you notice when I turn, you say, well, you didn't take the racket back. I don't have to. From this position, it will come right here and I'll get that rotation that I want. Sometimes it's even easier on a backhand, whether it's a one hand or two. You're naturally turning when you take the racket to that side of the court. So, when the ball comes, I want to turn towards the ball. If you ever see this or feel yourself like this, remember, you're not a dog and you're not a cat. Dogs and cats have tails. You do not have a tail. In fact, I want to feel on my forehand that racket's going to stay on the right side of my body until after I make contact. So it's here, I make my contact, it's going to go to the left side of my body. Now notice my front shoulder, it's not doing what? When that ball starts flying or you're missing, you might be pulling your head up, but that front shoulder opens up, it starts flying. But today all we're talking about is the backswing. Now, if you find that you're having trouble timing, especially slow balls, this usually happens when somebody gets a slow ball. They'll take a ginormous, big cut at the ball. It's actually harder to time that slow ball than it is the fast ball. You probably had this occur in your playing career. The ball comes fast and you just try to block the ball back. And it feels pretty solid because you're getting the benefit of the speed of your, part, or your opponent's shot. So one way I can check my big back swing. Cameraman, you might want to get a little closer. I'm going to stand a couple feet from the fence. And if I turn and go like this and feel the backswing hitting the net or fence, that's probably back too far. I want to keep it right here. That's plenty far back. Right here, boom. If I feel that I'm doing this, I've taken it back too far. Remember, keep things simple. Strive to make contact in front of your body. Remember to turn, turn. Try this sometimes in warm-ups. Instead of taking a big cut and showing off what you want to do with the ball, why don't you just stay neutral? See if you can develop some feel. Keep it close to you, try to strike it out in front. Remember, speed, spin, or direction. What's the most important thing? You're working on direction. Now, if your timing improves, you will gain some natural power. All right, keep things simple. Right here, close to your body, Try to make contact out in front. You're not a dog and you're not a cat. All right? Hang tough.